Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is Sarah from Sarah Beth Plans and today we are going to be planning from uh, April 20th through the 26th and we are going to be using um, one of our newest kits which is the Stain Home Kit and I'm really excited for this um, this artwork. It's really beautiful. I love the colors in it and this week I'm going to be using some pink foil um, which I know is not listed in the shop um, and that's because I can't seem to find it all the time to keep it in stock. Um, if that changes, I will add it, um, but I thought it would be fun to go with that since we have the pinks and the purples and the blues in this artwork. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we are starting a week three of homeschooling and it's been interesting. Um, it's getting better as we go along though. Um, it's been a little bit of an adjustment for the kids, but the more we do it, the easier they are going with the new schedule. It's been a little bit tough um, getting them to stay focused, but things seem to be smoothing out as we go and of course you know we've only got four weeks left of school for the year so um, that should make things a little bit easier on them too knowing that it's not going to last too long at our previous base we had school until mid-june so going only through the middle of May is going to be a nice change for them. They're going to be excited for that. So right now they're, um, they're only doing school about three to four hours a day, depending on the day of the week, um, which is also a big change for them. They're used to going all day, so they're usually done between 1130 and 12 o'clock. Um, but my daughter's teacher just informed me that they are going to be setting up a tutoring program, which she was involved in before the schools closed um, because we moved from a non-common core state to a common core state. So she's trying to help my daughter to get adjusted to the new um, way of doing math because she has not really had too much experience with that in the past which I think is nice um, but they give the kids off from like 12, 11, 30, 12 o'clock until 2.40 and then they have to get back on for tutoring which is um, probably going to be a little challenging to get her to focus again after being done with school for a few hours and then getting back on. So hopefully that runs smoothly this afternoon because today's the first day they're doing that. And if you hear noises in the background, I'm so sorry. It's just trying to find time to video tape while we have good lighting is a challenge while everybody is home. Actually, I forgot to show you what last week's um, week turned out like. I really didn't have much to put into it, but this is our Animal Crossing kit, and I really love um, the artwork on this one as well. And actually, we had some new stickers release on Sunday, which was yesterday, that were gaming icons that were coordinating with the artwork from this kit. So... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and speed through putting on my headers and um, the washi for my full boxes. Okay, 
cut those in. I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit. Um, I'm going to use the gray bows to be the headers for my full boxes. And I think um, for my one up here, I'm going to use the Fashion Girl. And I just love uh, what this says. It's a little bit hard to read, but it says... Um, Turn Muggles into Wizards, which um, is a book that she's reading, and I absolutely adore that. And you all know how I feel about Harry Potter, uh, so I was really excited when I saw that saying on the book for this week. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of these. Of course, I'm going to put the coffee one for Monday because Monday mornings are always tough, especially when you're getting up and getting ready to teach everyone. Actually, I'm not doing the teaching. However, I am helping um, to keep my daughter um, on task when it comes to the online schooling. She's only eight, so sometimes the um, the pressure of finding the next class on the computer through the Schoology, which is the program that the school is using to keep track of everything, can be a little bit challenging for her still. Um, she's pretty well-versed in using a computer, but um, the teacher goes a little bit fast for her, and sometimes she has a hard time finding what she needs to, and during the math, since we're keeping muted during the classes, um, I'm helping her to understand some of the things that she may not quite understand uh, that the teacher is working on. Um, looks like this one is a little bit up too high. I'm just going to adjust the box a little bit so it's more centered. I don't want to take all the patterns off again because they're a little bit tricky to get lined up in the first place. So I'm going to just center this one a bit so it's not noticeable. There, it works. So my son, he is in fifth grade and he's doing great with keeping everything organized and the same with my sixth grader, but my second grader still needs help. So I sit with her through the entire lesson and help her to keep everything going where she needs to be going. So they switch classes um, like they would if they were in school. So she's going back and forth between her regular class and then her special, which is usually music or gym. But see, this one's up a little too high. I'm not moving everything. So what I'm going to do here, I hand cut that um, little measuring thing that I was using and it wasn't perfectly straight. So I may have to make another one and have my machine cut it just so I know that, that it's cut straight because it'll make my life a little easier if it is. Um, oh, do I want this one or do I want the YouTube and planning one? Let's use the YouTube and planning one. I don't have a cat, so I'm using the puppy one here. Um, so yeah, so it's been a little bit challenging, but we're getting through it. It's the best you can do is work through things and work up through problems as they arise. I mean, this week so far, I mean, it's only Monday, but it's definitely already much, much better than the last two weeks have been. Um, the teacher was able to remember to keep the kids muted so we weren't hearing tons of background noises from other parents and siblings that were in their rooms um, 
doing classes with them at the same time. So that helped a ton. All right, um, this week, like I said, I'm using some pink foil and I think these are the mini size. Let me double check. Cause I, yep. I really like the way the mini size of the icons and checklists fit in the A5 Slim. Um, last week's had some cherries on them, which I thought was super cute. Um, so I'm using the mini size again because I really liked um, the extra space that it gave me for my checklist. So I think I will continue um, as orders come in for the A5 Slim. I will be sending out the mini size of the checklist because I think they just fit a bit better than the ones that I used for the cousin. Now I don't know about you, but I don't have a whole lot to track um, as a checklist during the day. Um, so these don't always get filled in, but I like to have them there just in case I need them. I don't leave the house too much, mostly just to grab groceries or um, sometimes supplies that we need for school, extra pencils and things like that. But. When those things arise, then I put them on there. Just realized I forgot to put the dates on. All right, so today is Monday the 20th. Put those put on. This past week, we got some new um, switch lights because we've been playing Animal Crossing and my kids and I were having a hard time sharing the um, the game because we all wanted to have our own island. So um, grandma decided to help us out and we picked up a couple of the switch lights so that we could all play together. And it was really, it's been really fun. I've been really enjoying playing with my kids. These are the new Hello Month stickers. Those went up in the shop yesterday as well. And these fit in all of our sizes um, for the kids. And I do like to overlap them and layer them in that column right here. It's this way you can still see the full box underneath it, but it fills up the extra space at the top. Okay, I want to do my sidebar next, and I'm going to do it the same layout I did for last week and the week before. So first we're going to do our meals box. And what I've been doing, just because these um, fill up the space nicely, is use the extra washi that I include on the full box page. I like to line it up with the washi in the first column here. Grab my knife. Okay. And since I'm going to be using it to track my meals, I'm going to use the one with the days of the week on here and it happens that it matches the washi that I'm using. So I'll put that down and I have found that using one strip of the washi is enough to cover me for the entire column here. It's easier for me to put this on upside down, so I'm going to do that. Put this in. I like this knife a lot. This one is um, Cricut brand. It's got a nice grip on it. So if you're looking for one that you may enjoy, I really do like this one. And I like how easy it is to change the blade. 
you just change this to unlock and it pops right out and you can put the new blade in. So it's, for me, I feel like it's safer than using a regular X-Acto knife brand knife. Okay, let me grab my have a checkers and I'm gonna go, I think, with the purple and the gray this week. Pink has always been my favorite color, but it seems like recently I have been really, really enjoying the more cool colors like blues and purples. So, you know what, what I'm gonna do is I'm next, because I always have our time lighting this up. I'm gonna put my extra full box down so I can center these strips right here perfectly. Um, so, I actually think I want to go with the Bath and Body Works hands down here. Okay, and I just want to make sure that I put it on correctly. I'm going to line this up here like I did at the top. Hopefully this centers it up perfectly. There, it came out nice. All right, um, I did not print out the stickers, the small stickers for myself again this week, and I should have because uh, I wanted to do the meals sticker here, but I think I have some that I can use in the holographic foil. So let me take a, no, I'm going to use a sticker for exercise. And let me see if I can find those. Here we go. Here's the meals. And then I also need the water one. My goal was to get these ones up in the shop yesterday as well, um, but I ended up getting a new computer because my laptop was giving me a lot of trouble. And I'm still in the process of moving all my files over and re-downloading any of the font that I had previously, which I have not gotten to the Harry Potter font yet. So as soon as I get that downloaded, I will get those in the shop for those of you who want Weekend banners in the Harry Potter script. Here. Okay, now I've been using my B6 Slim, uh, also a Jibun Techo, to kind of pre plan and keep this on my desk um, for previous, uh, I'm sorry, for future planning. So I write everything down and I'm using this to help guide me through the week. So today I want, oh, I want to put in these new stickers that I have not gotten in the shop yet, but they are coming. So what I want to do, these are some Ray Dunn cups that I have um, the artwork for, but I want to show you the difference between the mini size and the regular. So these are the regular size, these ones are the mini, and I'm actually going to be using the mini in the A5 Slim. Um, these would work great for the Erin Condren and probably for the Cousin too. Cousin you could go either way because the columns are a little bit more narrow than um, the Erin Condren, but the regular size will fit perfectly in there. So today I want to mark coffee first and I'm going to use one of my foiled icons to go with that. And I'm going to, I think, we'll use box here. And put that right up here. 
we'll use the home sweet home one actually you know what i'm going to use the chill one because i have the home sweet home down at the bottom and then i'm going to use my coffee first foiled sticker and then i'm not going to mark down the school that um, we're doing at home um, just because that's every day but since we're just now starting the tutoring every day i want to mark that down so i don't forget about it and i think we'll use these uh, yeah we'll use the skinny bars for those and she's going to be doing that in the afternoons for her put it down a little bit further nope i had it right the first time because I want to have enough space to write down the time so I don't forget to sign her back on for those sessions. And she's going to be doing that Monday through Friday. So I may not need to mark it come next week um, because we'll already have been doing it for a week. But to be on the safe side for this week, I want to make sure I don't forget. So we'll put that in here. And I printed out some stickers to use for that. And I'm going to actually use ones that I had in the shop already. Um, I don't know if I put them in my book already. I might have. but they're the ones that are marked as study, study sesh. So let me see if I can find those. I know I pulled them out, I just don't know if I put them in my book yet. Let's see. does not look like I did. So what I'm going to do is grab those real quick because I do need them um, for this week. So give me one second while I grab those. Okay, I have them and actually I did have them in my planner um, sticker book already and I just totally missed them. I knew I pulled them out. So what we're going to do is put these right on here and then I'm going to put the time underneath. I'm probably going to need to set an alarm on my phone as well because I really don't want to miss those for her. So I'll put that in and then I've also been, actually, first I want to mark down my film because I'm going to be doing that today as well. There we go. We'll put that in with one of our little flags. There we go. And then we, well, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to get to it today, um, but I've been making my own um, sorry, <laughs> I lost my train of thought, my own sourdough bread. Um, and I have not gotten to it yet today. That was my plan for this morning, and I never got to it. So um, I'm going to mark that down for tomorrow instead of for today. Now, these are another one that will be coming to the shop. It's called Planning Day, and I'm going to go ahead and use that one um, here. And then um, for tomorrow, I want to edit the video. If I can get to it tonight, I will. Um, 
but my goal is no later than tomorrow. So I'll get this in here. And first thing in the morning. Oh, totally put that on the wrong day. Tomorrow is only Tuesday. Not Wednesday. in here. Make sure I give myself no space. Throw her time in. Ah, these stickers were printed out on the premium vinyl. Sometimes they're a little tricky to get off. Okay. And then first thing in the morning I need to prep the dough and the yeast. So I'm gonna actually be marking baking bread for two days because it takes two days to get the process done. So I'm gonna mark that for Tuesday and Wednesday. And each batch that I make gives me two loaves of bread. Now with five people in the house, that doesn't last too long. So I'm trying to bake it like every other day if I can. So I'll add that in there. And another thing I want to work on this week is getting the rest of our script taken care of because I do have a lot of new ones um, to get into the shop. Here's another one that will be going up. This one is called Big Treats. We have the Big Bread Planning Day. And then these ones, Netflix Binge, went up yesterday. Hello Weekend went up yesterday. Um, so I have a bunch more that I have not gotten done yet, but they will be going up this week. So on Tuesday, I'm going to be marking down and I'm going to be working on designing. I have a new kit that I want to get up and also I want to take one of these out. This is another one that went up yesterday. This one is, can you see it? The YouTube one. Let me grab the design box. Both of these are going to be going up for tomorrow. design one here and then I want to get up the video tomorrow as well so I'm gonna put that one actually on the box because it's a little easier to see the clear script if you have it on a solid background and I've got a YouTube icon that I want to put with it. There we go. On Wednesday, I will be working on designing again. That'll probably be most of my week. So, get these put in. I'm working on helping my daughter to set up her planner. She wasn't using it through most of the school year um, because they issued her a planner that they wanted her to use. But now that she's home, she wants to give using her planner from Michael's a try again. So we're gonna be working on that this week too. Um, this here. Grab one of my laundry stickers. Laundry has been a little bit more relaxed 
um, while we're in quarantine because we don't have specific outfits that we have to, you know, use for work or school. So everybody's just kind of wearing whatever is comfortable for that day. So, um, I'm able to do instead of, you know, everyone's laundry, because they try to split everybody's laundry up um, and do one person per day, but while we've been home, it's been a little bit easier and we can do everybody's um, maybe two or three loads per week. So, where is my laundry stuff? I knew I had some. Need to print out some more of those looks like because I don't see them now. All right, well, I have that on there. I will print out one and get that in there. Yes, I have one from last week's script page. Let me check. Okay, I took a look and I don't see any more of my laundry stickers, so I'll be printing some more of those out. Um, so for now, I will just um, leave that blank until I can get another set printed for myself. Um, but I want to make sure that we mark down taking out the trash because um, last week we forgot to put it out and then we had to wait until the following week to put it out. Um, so this week I don't want to miss that. So I'm going to go ahead and get that marked down. We'll put the trash can there. And I printed out another sheet of my trash stickers. I'm a little disorganized on my desk over here, so I apologize for that because I was looking to see if I could find those stickers for the laundry. There we go. So I've got my trash sticker here. I'm going to mark that down right here. And I also want to mark down for Friday that my daughter has a project due. Um, her second grade class is doing a science project and I'm not really sure how they're going to be marking the submission of these projects because they are going to be done virtually but she's making a I apologize for any noise you hear um, like I said I have everybody home with me so you may hear some background noises and I apologize for that my daughter is actually making some sun tea, or, well, not really sun tea, it's iced tea. Um, so just grabbing ice out of the freezer and it's making some noise. Um, let's see, I know I have these really cute little bows that are foiled and I wanna mark that down for her homework project, if I can find it, because I thought I had printed out some homework stickers and I don't see, you know what I can do actually? I'm gonna use a Remember All that matches this kid. So let's go with the pastel rainbow one. I think that'll be really cute up here. I can use that for marking down her project. And then um, also I want to do a new release on Friday. So we will, Put that one put in as well. So this week is actually turning out to be busier than most of my recent weeks, which is nice. Um, let's put that right here. And then I want to put 
Maybe I like that. And then I actually have been keeping from, oh, look at that. My planner just came apart. Well, okay, so I guess, I guess I will be working on fixing that after the video, unless it's easy. Oh, I went right back in. Um, I have been keeping the little stickers that come with the kits uh, to use them for marking down when I have a shop release coming. So, um, how do I want to do this? I think we'll put this in the middle. It's a little bit bigger than I wanted for this spot, but that's okay. Put it down at the bottom and we'll put the new release sticker at the top. Yeah, that looks good. And then on Saturday, I think we are going to do a new sticker. I think I put in my bag or my book already. Let me check. This is another one that just, I don't know if it's released already or not. I have to check. But this is a new one that's coming out if it hasn't already. Yesterday I was working on so many new scripts for the shop. I can't remember which ones I put up already. Um, I have a running list and in my B6 Stalogy, um, I use that for my checklist during the week. And I need to go back and check which ones I did. Come on. Here it is. I made a Netflix and Nails. My daughters have been wanting to watch a movie with me and get our nails done. So I think we'll do that Saturday. And that Saturday evening. Right here. And then on Saturday mornings is my daughter's day for running for gymnastics. Her coach has been giving her some exercises that she wants her to complete. So Saturdays have been designated as running day. So here and then Sunday I want to sleep in because it's a busy week and we're up early now the school started up again which color do I want to use with this I think I'm gonna go with the light blue Put that up here for Sunday morning. And then my kids have been asking me to make some, some, uh, ooh, put this up here. My friend had shared with me a recipe for making raspberry cream cheese rolls. I told them that's something that I can't feasibly make during the school week. So um, if we want to do those, we have to do those on the weekends. So I'm going to use a different label because this is the same color. Um, let's use the purple one. No, the purple is right here. You know what? Let's use a flag. The flag will work fine. Do I want to use this one or no? I want to use one of my diamond ones because I forgot I had those. There's some cute diamond ones on the side here. Um, so we'll make those. I have to prepare them the night before because otherwise it'll take too long Sunday morning. So I'm going to mark here to bake treats and I will, what I did last time was, um, I made them the night before and I put them in the refrigerator to proof overnight. And then I put them in my oven on the warm setting 
and let them rise prior to baking them for the morning breakfast. So I think I'm going to do the same thing this weekend and make those for the family. And I think that's all we have going on for this week. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you want to hold on just a second, I will go ahead and fill this in for you. Okay, there you go, and um, this is our week, and I'm sorry, you can hear um, my husband, he's practicing um, for work, he's a musician, so if you hear um, his horn in the background, that's what that is, but here is the full week laid out for you, and um, I hope that you enjoy this video, and you will join us for our next one. Have a wonderful day.